All right, baby, it's time to film another day. Let's go see where this kid is at. Brian, yo! Oh, where is he at? Let's go check his game room real quick. He might be in there gaming. Okay, he's definitely not in here. Hello? Bro, where is this kid at? Okay, he's definitely not outside. It's raining like crazy right now. Oh, is he in here? Yo, what are you... Brian, yo, yo, what are you... What's going on? Wait, you didn't see my new banner? What about it? What did you do? I'm trying to beat Drake in subs. What is all this? I'm like... manifesting it, bro. <laughs> Why are you trying to beat Drake in subs? Bro, he's my favorite rapper, and I feel like if I beat him in subs, that's the only way he'd acknowledge my existence. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Guys, so if you're watching this, and you're not yet subscribed, help me beat Drake, the man, the myth, the legend, in subscribers, and maybe one day we'll make a video together. But if you'll excuse me, bro, get out of here. I'll film in a little bit. It takes like an hour. So I've seen this on TikTok where people set up a table with a general question and our question is what is your biggest regret? And we have papers and pens for people to anonymously write their biggest regret and place it in this bowl and then we're gonna read some after just to see what we get. We're just waiting here. We got the camera set up right there. We actually got a lot of people going up already. Bro, biggest life regret? It could be anything. We got the bowl right over here. I personally have had regrets in my life. My outlook on that is to always learn from your mistakes, learn from your regrets, and just better yourself every single day. So, let's see what we got here, bro. First one, not saving my taxes. Hey, I feel that. Taxes are rough here in California. Okay, here we go. My biggest regret was not meeting my grandma because I was too scared if she wouldn't like me for who I am. Aw. I feel like you shouldn't be scared of something like that. I know it's probably nerve-wracking in the moment. I feel like no matter what in life, if someone loves you, they should always accept you for who you are. That was deep. Next one. My biggest regret is not reaching out for help when I really needed it. Oh, man. I feel that. You know, there's people in your life that actually genuinely love you enough to want to help you if you really need the help. I low-key could relate to that in a way. A lot of people think my life is perfect because of who I am and what I do, but at the end of the day, I still have problems just like everyone else. And I feel like if I express my problems to people, like they might think I'm a burden and like think I'm complaining. But the people that love you the most won't think that exactly. they'll be there for you. So I've learned over time to just open up because when you bottle things inside, guys, it's really not good for your mental at all. But yep. opening up really does help, whether it's a friend, a teacher, a parent. I feel like you could always find someone to open up to, but it really does help. My biggest regret is getting layers. I think that has to do with like your hair. Is that a regret though? Like hair kind of grows back, unless it's permanent. I mean, bro, think about this, right? If someone's in middle school and they wrote that, I'm just guessing. Younger <laughs> yeah, person, it's definitely a middle bro, that's, school. Bro, that sucks. It's a big you go to school and your, your hair is messed up. No one knows this, but my old middle school girlfriend literally <laughs> broke up with me because I got a haircut. A bad one. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> my biggest regret is not going after the life I wanted. P.S. I have it now. It just took a load of time. Wow. Good thing you have the life that you want now. And I always preach about this is like, you can't rush success. I know you might see younger people that are succeeding out here. You know, you see YouTubers, young people that are just like 18 years old, making a lot of money, but you can also be 60 and have success. So don't let that discourage you. All right, guys, last one. One, not always being nice. That's cool that it's a regret now, so maybe they're nice now. If you have that hater mentality, it's just gonna bring you down every day. If you're always thinking negative thoughts, always talking bad about people, it's just not good for your mental. If you have that hater mentality, switch it up and it will actually better your life. Bro. Bro, what the? Yo! <laughs> Tired? Yeah. You thirsty? Yeah. You want some chug rug? Yeah. What the? Brian, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Hey guys, <laughs> do you decide to like become your drink? Someone built me a giant chug rug. Shout out to Moises. He's the one that made this giant life-size chug rug. He tagged me so much on TikTok to get me to see it and he finally delivered it to me and I think this is one of the sickest things ever. Look at this, bro. I'm literally in a chug rug. He actually wrote a lot of my supporters names in here. So if you're in here, I see you now. Hold on, this is amazing. Ah, uh, Noah, bro, why are you always so crazy? Bro, it's the chug rug, I'm focused right now. Okay, you know what, you wanna do a challenge with this can? I mean, might as well. We're gonna play some tic-tac-toe, but the only way to get our X's and O's is we have to shoot through the tic-tac-toe and make it into the giant chug rug can. Come on, bro, let's get it. All right, Noah, you start, you're gonna miss anyways. Damn, one. Okay, yes, sir, baby. Me off, bro. Let's go. Oh, I got blocked. This is going in. Yes! Damn. Let's go. Oh, oh. I have to block it. You gotta block this. Oh, no! Come on. I'm gonna go for the very top one. Literally. Oh! Come on! No way! You just need this one to win. Easy block. Let's go! Man. Yes! 
Extreme focus, baby. One. Hey, literally what the chug rug says, and he didn't do it. Here we go, guys. Yes, sir! Yeah. Let's go! Good game. Dude, that was actually so much fun. I do need a chug rug now. Okay, how about this? The winner had to get the other person a chug rug. Guys, the reason why I wore this outfit is literally to just match the chug rug. Look at this. I'm the life-size chug rug. It's used. You never said which one I can get you. A used chug rug? Yep. I'll take it. <laughs> So for those who don't know, Papa Rug built an insane movie theater behind these curtains. And I got a little surprise for it. But let's go check out the movie theater. Papa Rug went stupid on this. Come on in. Welcome to Papa Rug's official movie theater. He's probably the biggest movie connoisseur. He's seen every single movie. We literally just took a flight to Texas the other day. And every single movie they had for him to watch, he said, I've seen this, I've seen this, I've seen this. So I figured I wanted to spice up his movie theater a little bit. Under this blanket, we have his brand new gift. Papa Rug's got to do a challenge to win this. Real quick. Two. This is where I play 2k all the time. A lot of people don't know this. I'm nasty at 2k Me and my boy Dennis actually have a paper of our record and he made me start a new paper because I beat him like 25 games in a row Right now, it's six to two any 2k youtubers out there or just 2k players in general. Let me know you may now come in well, not a break or something, right? Oh, no, you guys can open your eyes right. <laughs> They're used to just closing their eyes for surprises. Come on in. There's something over there I was telling everyone you love movies. Oh, yeah, always you guys use this movie theater all the time We actually have movie nights now now every Saturday. Yes. Yep. But dad, you already know me. You can't just have this gift. What do you mean? You gotta do a challenge. Ooh. And Mama Rug is here to help out if he needs help. She's his lifeline. Wait, guys, I forgot to turn on the best part. This is my favorite part of the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Question number one, Papa Rug. Yes. Name a movie genre. Movie genre? Uh-huh. What's genre? I don't think he knows what genre I, I do Okay. Ooh. Okay, do you want to use your lifeline? Uh, you only yeah. get one. Oh, only one? Yeah. I'll use it now. Comedy. That's it, right there. Okay, you guys get one, but Mama Rug, you can't help anymore, but you can still be here. Oh, okay. Name a movie with Tom Cruise. Top Gun. Oh, that's yeah. Correct. That's correct. Yeah. Wait, he yeah. just watched that on the flight. Yeah, we just watched <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Flight. This movie is about snakes on on a plane. What is it called? Snake and the plane. <laughs> Dad. Should we give it to him? No, no. I think we give it to him. Yeah. Okay, dad, dad. Snake's on a plane. You said snake in a plane. Yeah. Same thing, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Come on, guys, come on. Name three popular movie theater snacks. Popcorn concert snack? <laughs> Popcorn? Okay, that's one. Candy? All right, that's two. Soda pop! Yeah! All right! You guys need one more question yes, to bro. unlock that gift. Name one actor from the movie Titanic. Jack. Rose. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's right, but yeah. the real name. Real name. Uh, just give me a first letter. L. Leaccio uh -huh. Diablo. That's perfect. Yeah. No. Got it. Really? Leaccio Diablo. Uh-huh. Yeah! Let's go! I won the game! Okay, are you guys ready? You guys don't even know what it is either. Okay, so you guys don't look yet. Okay. This is for the viewers to see. Ooh, don't look. No don't way. look. Uh. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my oh, God! God! A snow no cone machine! We were talking about this last Saturday. Okay. We said we need this. Exactly why no, your son didn't. listens, baby. No, your son you listens. Why do they make snow cones? We'll show them right now. Oh my god, snow oh cones! And we got cherry and blue raspberry. Oh, oh my blue raspberry is my favorite. Yes. Yeah. There's a bonus gift I want to give you guys. Without a question. No, it has to be with a question. Oh my but god. Okay, it's because I really love when Papa Rug and Mama Rug try to spell things. You guys can work together on this, but I'm gonna ask my dad, what's your favorite movie? Titanic. Okay. Like I watch it a lot. That he loves yeah. Titanic. I mean, who doesn't? That's a banger movie. Now spell Titanic. And if you get this right, you get a bonus gift. T I. Uh huh. T A. Okay. N I C K. Okay. Yeah. Everything he said without the K. Everything he said without the K. Yeah. 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 Oh, let's go. You guys stay here and close your eyes. So this is my dad's favorite movie of all time. Do you know we had to throw this in there? New addition to the movie theme. Hold on. Keep your eyes closed. In three, two, one. Turn around. Oh my god, no way! Yeah! Oh, Titanic crazy. movie poster. Yeah. Next movie night, Next Saturday? Movie. Titanic it is. Yeah, I've been telling you guys, let's watch Titanic. Alright, well, do you guys want to make a snow cone? Let's do yeah. it! Let's go, baby. So we put the ice in here. Here we go. Hey! Alright, Papa Rug. Let's try that. Yes! Yay. Keep it going. It's so Ew. sick. Okay, let's try the blue raspberry. Yeah, that's your favorite. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Oh, that smells okay. so good. Jeez. Cheers. Enjoy your gift. Mmm. So smells good. so good. I swear it's so good. Hey, give me the blue. Hey. 
All right, guys, I am so excited to do this. I found my 2009 middle school yearbook, and I actually posted this on my Instagram story, and everyone wanted me to do this. So I have a ton of signatures in here. Some people actually left their phone numbers, and I was like, it would be so dope if I tried calling that phone number. I don't know if it's in service. I don't know if maybe that was their home phone number, their parents' phone number, because we were younger. For those who don't know, I'm extremely short. I'm like five foot seven. I like to tell people five eight, but back in middle school, guys, I was literally the shortest person in my entire school, but I want to read you guys some of the signatures in here because I read some a little off camera and they're just hilarious. Hey, shorty, hope you grow taller and have a great summer. Grow taller. Not even a hags have a great summer. Grow taller. Hey, Brian, hope you have a good summer. I'm gonna miss your shortness. Allison. Hey, hold up. Young Rug had some riz. Okay. Hope you grow taller. So if that doesn't prove to you guys how short I was growing up, now it does. And it's actually so funny because one of the the main comments I get in person when people meet me is you look a lot shorter than you do in videos. So yeah, I guess you could say I've been dealing with my shortness my entire life. I love doing this. A lot of memories. I know. Also guys, in middle school is where I actually got the name Rico from Hannah Montana because this is what I looked like in middle school. This girl literally took up the entire page and she gave me her number. You know when someone took up a whole page, they really liked you. Oh yeah. Brian, I'm really happy I got to meet you. You're an awesome friend and it's fun hanging out with you in PE. If you want to hang out, call slash text me. Hey, hey yo, woo. Jackie. I just want to see if they like remember me from middle school or maybe if they know who I am today. That would be so sick. I'm already expecting the, we're sorry. This phone number is not in service anymore. Don't know. Come on, come on. It's ringing. Hi, this is Dennis. Dennis, um, is there like a Jackie that you know? A Jackie? The only Jackie I know is Jackie Brower from Houston, right? No, not Houston. From San Diego. No. Oh, she changed her number. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Oh my God, but I'm surprised someone answered. Travis. Oh my gosh, if this is who I think it is, we used to play basketball all the time in PE. Okay, Travis, I hope you still have your phone active. It's ringing, that's a good sign. different, bro. All right, next one I see is from my boy Dominic. Dominic was my first ever best friend in my entire life. I remember Dominic. And sadly, we drifted away because I think he went to a different school. Dude, that would be crazy if this phone call literally just reconnects me with an old friend. Oh, Dominic. Dominic? Yes, sir. Yo, this is Brian Awadis. Yo, what the hell? Bro, hold on, dude. Yo, it's been a minute. Good, I'm doing great. How are you? What have you been up to? Chilling, man. Working, playing basketball. Hey, yay. Wait, I was going to say, uh, you still play basketball? Dude, you know what's crazy? I actually just started getting back into it about a year ago. So I've been shooting around a little bit. Dude. I remember when we used to play back in the day, I would always get my butt whooped. Bro, Dominic, that's crazy. Because before I called this number, I was like, me and Dominic used to hoop all the time. Remember, we used to have three-point contests at my house. Yeah, I'll have your house at school with no nets everywhere. Bro. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I hope you've been doing well. Hopefully one day we can just like grab lunch if you're ever free. Absolutely, man. It's been a long, long, long time. So let me know whenever you can. It was crazy too. I actually just saw your uncle, so. That's insane, bro. It's so good to talk to you. It's crazy. Like you were my first ever best friend in my entire life. So like, yeah. it's just crazy talking to you right now. MW2 every day. MW2. Yes, fam. Oh my gosh. I'm next to my mom, by the way, if you hey, want to say hi. Hi, how are you? Oh my God, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you so much. I remember when I used to drop off Brian to your house or when you come to the house. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm about to cry, <laughs> Dominic. You're my mom was just talking and asking, hey, how's Brian? It's been a long time. Oh, my. I'm like, what the hell? How do you remember, mom? It's been like 10, 15 years. I don't know if you're working right now, but I'm going to let you get back to it. Say hello to all your family for me. Thank okay, you. will do, bro. Good talking to you. Have a good one. All right, you too. Bye. Oh, my God! I can't believe the number in his yearbook still worked. I don't even know what to say. That was crazy. The first number I called, someone answered, but it was someone from Houston. Yeah, people from middle school probably don't have the same number. Or it's their like parents number. I was thinking like a lot of these numbers would be home phone numbers. No one really had cell phones. Doesn't that make you feel old? Super old, bro. 2009, 14 years ago. Like I feel like people that are watching this video, some of them don't even know that house phones used to exist. Do you remember how the ringtone went for a house? It went like. All 
All right, guys, this was super fun. Those were all the phone numbers that I found in here. If you guys actually want me to reconnect with Dominic and record it if he's down for that, let me know in the comment section down below. Drop a like. This vlog was really fun. I want to do more personal vlogs like this. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe to help me beat Drake and subs, and I will see you all with the next video. Peace.